So this is the first close over the 50 day moving average, which is super duper bullish. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com uh, nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. So as, as you can imagine, today's rally was pretty big. There's, there's no point uh, to, you know, to go through the pivots. This one did that. Let's, let's, let's look at the big picture, right? Uh, again, I also have a basketball game, so I don't have a lot of time. So I, I want to get everybody the big picture and kind of give you an idea of what happens next and what needs to happen next. If you've been watching this um, this uh, broadcast, uh, even for the last two weeks, you don't need to even go for 12 years, um, you kind of know how big this 296.75 area uh, we talked about in pretty much a nausea since the previous Friday when the bulls got rejected at the 50-day moving average. It's, it's literally been the same message every single day. Nothing happens until we reclaim the 50-day moving average. Nothing is bullish until we reclaim the 50-day moving average. There is no risk on until we claim, reclaim the 50-day moving average and nothing happens. You can't put a swing on and have measured potential for the next potential bigger move if it doesn't reclaim the 50-day moving average. Da, 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 da. Today was a very big, big day for the bulls. Uh, not only did they uh, just kind of reclaim yesterday's whole mess. You, you know, and again, I apologize. I, I was fighting a kind of a bug here in the last 24 hours. I feel a lot better today. Uh, there was no video last night. I was just going through my own uh, my own personal little little hell. No, no COVID. Just some sort of virus. Apparently, the same one that uh, my kids had a couple of weeks ago. But it is what it is. So sorry about no video yesterday. But more important is exactly what happened today. Uh, we finally got above. Uh, the 296.75 area that we've been, you know, we've been touting that area, I mean, for, for the longest time now, or at least since last Friday. Um, it feels like forever, though. So this is the first close over the 50-day moving average, which is super duper bullish. Now, the last time, again, I don't want to, you know, put on, all of a sudden put on the rose-colored glasses and say everything's going to be great, because the last time we reclaimed the 50-day moving average was on January, February, March the 21st, and it lasted for about a week. This is kind of an example of what happens next after the 50-day moving average gets reclaimed. We did have a rally for about a week, week and a half, and then obviously it got rejected at the top of the channel, started going down, and this is what happens when you lose the 50-day moving average, started a really, really nasty cycle. But it, it did, at least you have, even if you're brand new to trading and brand new to charts and technical analysis and all that stuff, and this is your, kind of your first taste of technical analysis, again, the eyeball test is the most important part. Again, when they reclaim this light blue line, that's the 50-day moving average, we start the rally. When they lose this light, bl light blue line, first day under, they start to decline. And here we are, right? First close uh, above the 50-day moving average. And again, if everything goes well and everything, unless a meteor hits the planet, and unless some something uh, unless something turns to zero tomorrow, uh, the, more, the bull should be okay, right? The bull should be uh, absolutely okay. And the most important part now, if you have any swings on, right? Number one, know your measured potential. The next measured potential is the channel all the way up here. And that correlates perfectly to the next supply, which is 313. Easier said than done. But again, you have to start somewhere. You have to believe in something on, on, on the surface. And the most important part is, any close below, right? Any close below the 50-day moving average, that is your exit. Because again, if you didn't exit your, your swing positions or your long positions uh, below the 50-day moving average the first time, you had about you know four and a half months of pretty bad night's sleep. So it's very, very important. Again, over 50-day moving average, bullish, under 50-day moving average, bearish. You're going to have um, some days that contra to that, but overall trend is in that direction. So again, very, very good close. This is the highest close in this whole formation. Now the question is, can the bulls hold up, right? And obviously this is the start of earnings season. Uh, today, yesterday kicked off IBM, was down four bucks. Nobody cares about IBM. Uh, today was Netflix. Uh, and again, I tweeted this out uh, and I said, unless, look, if you guys remember last quarter, nobody, I mean, it, nobody had any faith in, in Facebook. You guys remember that? Like everybody was saying they're going to miss, they're going to miss, they're going to miss. Last quarter, Facebook missed. It was such a low bar 
that the stock rallied, right? Uh, same thing with Netflix. Last quarter, this is the first time in 10 years they had a, a slow and decrease in subscription model. Everybody knew they were gonna have you know, a decrease in subscriptions. The question was how much? And again, it didn't make a difference. Uh, I think the estimate was 2 million subscribers to be lost. They only lost a little bit less than a million. Well, they didn't lose as much as they should have lost and yada, yada, yada. Again, it's not a coincidence. The bull market, right? We're above the 50-day moving average. Nobody cares about the surface. Uh, Netflix is being rewarded. Really, really big spike there. Uh, most important part is Netflix got above this whole channel here and confirmed the 207 level. So again, you know, it's obviously, as you can imagine, it's lifting everything up uh, after hours. Queues are flying. Uh, Amazon is going and Amazon big breakout. Speaking of Amazon, big breakout today on Amazon. As you can imagine, everything broke out. But big breakout today in Amazon above this 218 level. This is the first close above 17. Uh, they were coming for short term 20, 21, 22 and a half uh, calls. Really, really good looking chart there. Uh, you got the semiconductors looking really, really good. You know, NVIDIA is one day away from getting above the supply here. You can see this. If, it, if, it, if NVIDIA could just get above this whole supply zone, it looks like you know, it looks like it looks like the queues. It looks like. Um, uh, it looks like uh, it looks like Amazon. It looks like any, any one of these stocks. Anything that's Nasdaq 100 related is going to mirror itself. Maybe they won't have the exactly the same looking chart today, but eventually, the longer they stay above the 50-day, the higher probability more things are going to get uh, pulled up. And you can see a lot of charts, man. If you go through if you go through uh, you know your, your chart work today, you're going to see a lot of really good looking charts. Uh, coming off the bottom, you know, Amazon. I love uh, Amazon. I love. I think this thing sees. Uh, 2022 in the next couple of days if the market doesn't die. Uh, look at Coinbase. You have you have Bitcoin rallying all over the place. Uh, Coinbase. Look at this thing for tomorrow. Um, you know, really nice looking chart. Again, you're looking for anything that's coming off a bottom that's confirming the 50-day moving average, right? And you can see this is the first close, light blue, right? First close above the 50-day moving average. You know, if this if the whole crypto thing continues, if the whole strength in, in the Nasdaq continues, and again, they all go kind of hand to hand, you could, you, who knows, maybe get a move to 72. Uh, look at Lululemon, right? Look at Lululemon, again, first close over the 50 day. Again, that's the theme here. That looks really good as well. Uh, look at Starbucks. Again, one of my favorite companies of all time. I usually visit them a couple of times a day, right? Took out this whole channel here. This thing starts confirming it's gonna go higher as well. You know, you got, you got you know, big earnings, obviously, coming out of Tesla tomorrow. Um, you know, it's, you know, listen, the bulls finally did it. You know, first time in six months, we're having, you know, a conversation that the bulls closed uh, over the 50 day moving average, right? And again, there's, you know, there's no more excuses, right? You know, you had, you know, you had the bear market crowd, cash is a position, okay, that's cool. You got the bull market crowd, well, we don't wanna buy stocks now if things are rallying too much. Okay, eventually then you have summer trading, right? Summer trading, everything's so slow. Yeah, today was really, really slow, right? Really, really slow. And then you have the other crowds, you know, on the day as well, the market is, un is, is not tradable in days that end with the letter Y. Uh, look, enough with excuses. It's technical analysis. I don't care if you're a bull, bear, if you're trading small caps, mid caps, large caps, baseball caps, bottle caps, whatever caps you're trading, right? Technical analysis there. When the market's telling you it's a sell signal, it's a sell signal. When the market's telling you it's a buy signal, it's a buy signal. And now the question is, can the bulls continue to build? Is it possible, you know, they rest for a couple of days, maybe get one more day up tomorrow? Yeah, absolutely. But again, keep this in mind, the longer they stay above the 50 day moving average, the higher probability they'll continue to go higher. And now we are starting to be in the midst of uh, earnings season. Again, tomorrow we got uh, Tesla that will obviously uh, be the big one. Let me just see what else we got for tomorrow. Tomorrow we got, uh, let's see here, we got ASML, uh, Tesla, uh, Biogen, that's pretty much the big ones um, going into tomorrow's session. The, 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 the Super Bowl of earnings for next week, uh, you know, you'll have the Apples, the Metas, the Googles, the Amazons, the Microsofts, all that uh, in between. And that's it. I mean, that's it. It's a short, uh, it's a short update. Uh, there's nothing really subjective uh, about this close. And the one thing, the one thing I, I will give you a little bit of a tip: the fact that we're above the 50-day moving average, especially for new traders, don't get tricked in um, any type of weakness throughout the day, right? Um, just because if we're above the 50-day and you see a little bit of weakness in stocks, it's not a short, 
Okay, it's just stocks resting, kind of back testing a little bit. The higher probability that they stay above the 50-day moving average, the cavalry will come at any time and squeeze it right back. Don't get involved with those Q trades. We had six months, okay, of selling stock, of sell bias stocks, right, in between a little bit of rallies. So don't get confused with any type of weakness after a stock made a big up, a big move. It's not a short, okay? It's not going lower, it's just moving down. And at any point, you could get squeezed back the same way when we were underneath supply. Don't get confused of a stock moving, you know, moving up than going higher, right? It's, it's a very, very big difference. So just a little bit of a piece of advice, stay away from the Q trade. If the market says higher, that means we're going higher, right? If it's a duck, it looks like a duck, it speaks like a duck, it, it, it quacks like a duck. I promise you it's not, a, it's not a rooster, it's a duck, right? And that's it. So guys, have a great night, everybody. Bulls, congratulations, great job. Now let's see how long they could, you know, they could stay above the 50-day moving average and live with prosperity. Some great value, uh, good value on deck for tomorrow. We got Tesla, we got Schmessla, we got everything in between. The most important thing is health, happiness, and a smile on your face. Guys, God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow.